Alright, for this particular question, ano to eh, word problem. It's a work word problem uh, specifically. And it's not the same exactly dun sa earlier one that I posted. In that there's a line here na different. So if Andy can paint a room in three hours and Andy can paint one in six hours, how long would it take them to paint two rooms? This is what changes things up. So instead of just one room that they're painting, they're painting two rooms. Which would also mean that the formula would change. So, uh, yung dati natin ginawa, which is 1 over, and then yung individual, so 1 over 3, plus, and then 1 over 6, kasi yung kay ani naman siya mag-isa. And then, same pa rin naman, yung quantity na yan times x is equal to this side now changes. Okay, I discussed this also in a, a full video lesson on YouTube, and it will be linked here then if you want to catch up. Instead of putting 1 here, dahil 2 rooms ang kanilang ipipaint, you put 2. So, um, yeah, that changes things. Kasi normally, 1 lang yan. 1 lang yan kung isang room lang yung ipipinturahan nila. Pero kung more than that, you have to change it. Sometimes there are questions that say na, uh, how long would it take for them to be halfway done? In that case, dahil halfway done, ibig sabihin kalahati lang ang natapos nila. One half naman ang ilalagay natin dito. So, again, yun ang ibig sabihin itong side na to. Yung amount of work na kailangan nilang tapusin. So, here, same thing pa rin. Mag-LCD tayo. LCD nyan is 6. So, this would be 6 divided by 3. That is 2 times 1. 2 plus, and then 1 over 6. So, here you have x is equal to 2. Here you have 3 over 6. x is equal to 2. Again, you can multiply these by the reciprocal. Actually, you can change this pa kasi pwede siya lowest terms. Both of them are divisible by 3. That's just basically 1 half. Okay? Or 1 over 2. So, you multiply mo lang sa 2 over 1. You have x is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. So, the answer is 4 hours. So, again, kung nagkataon na isang kwarto lang ang kanilang ipipinturahan, the answer would be 2. Kaya lang dahil dalawa, the answer would be 4. So, that's just one thing that you have to take note of when you encounter questions like this sa exams. Make sure that you have all of your information correct and that you know kung ano yung mga kailangan tweaks na gawin dun sa formula. Okay, so if you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. Just find Team Laika. And also yung ating Facebook page. Doon ako nagpo-post ng mga free content all the time. Thanks guys for watching. Never stop learning. Adyo, adyo kayo nyo. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.